And welcome back. 8.46 at the time. We've been talking about Star Trek. A lot of folks excited about the big movie debut tonight. And we're actually talking with Rolando Gomez. He is the head of the local Star Trek fan club. And you actually got to see the movie last night. Got a sneak preview. Right. We went to the Warren Old Town and watched it at 7 o'clock. All right. Give me your thoughts, your impressions. Um, well, speaking as, you know, the Trekkie here, <laughs> it was a reboot. So, you know, you got to get over that. But it was an excellent movie. They were faithful to the characters. They were faithful to the spirit. Um, if you're a Vulcan, you're going to cry a little bit. But, you know. Because there are so many out there that yeah. are Vulcans. Oh, uh, trust me. <laughs> if you're a Trekkie, you know who you are. If you're a Vulcan, you know who you are. Well, let me ask you this. Now, you, you mentioned that it was true to the characters. That has to be one of the concerns, especially for the hardcore fans going in whenever you do a remake like this, or, or I, you could call it a reboot. A reboot, yeah. Because um, it's the same characters as the original series and the first few movies. And. You know, these guys were playing the roles for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so you have new guys coming in. And there was a lot of concern, but I thought these actors did an excellent job. They were faithful to the character. Um, the guy who played uh, McCoy, uh, name escapes me now, Urban, I, th I believe. He was fantastic. Uh, Simon Pegg, who I always love, he was fantastic as Scotty. So you expect that for, for, for Star Trek fans around the country, this movie will be pretty well received then? Uh, for most of them. Some of them are going to have a hard time. Like I said, it's a reboot. It's a big pill to swallow for <laughs> a couple of them. It will be. Cause there's just, it already is. There's I just gonna be, are there going to be some people who just say, look, uh, William Shatner is Kirk, and that's all there is to it? There, there already are. There, the <laughs> conversations in Facebook on the internet have already been going on for a good 12 hours. So, it's, and and, yeah. and we we talked about it in, in, in the previous package that uh, Leonard Nimoy actually makes an appearance. The original Spock, he said he he plays Spock, but traveling in time. He, you, he travels you, back in can time. Can you explain how that works? Well, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's science fiction, so they really don't explain it other than he just travels back in time. But it's more than just a cameo. He, you know, he's on, on the screen for a, uh, a number of minutes and plays an integral part of the plot. Okay, well, there you go. That's, uh, that's the thumbs up then from Rolando Gomez. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, he says that uh, some Trekkies will like it and some Trekkies won't, I guess. So. A few won't. A few won't. Okay, well, there you go. All right, Felicia, let's send it back to you now.